Welcome to the Nicholas Brown Podcast, a podcast talk show about real estate investing, business leadership, and personal development. Each week, we explore current real-life case studies about how to build financial independence through investing in real estate to build your personal portfolio through passive income models, along with interviews from the top business leaders and personal development leaders. Now, here's your host, Nicholas Brown. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. This is podcast episode number 37, and I have special guests here with their experience. They're, they're co-owners of Momentum Multifamily. So, but before we begin, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to this, this YouTube channel, especially for this event. What I'm going to do, I'm going to link on my YouTube channel, I'm going to link a, 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 a a podcast, which they also made out to a YouTube channel where it's going to educate you guys because you guys is watching this YouTube. You're new to multifamily or you experience as an investor. You want to get to the next level to multi-level, uh, multi, I'm saying multi-level, multifamily properties. So make sure you guys subscribe here and look below the YouTube video. It's going to have a link to, they have a, they have a, a great, I, I promise you, they have a great um, video where they're interviewing women. Women are also in multifamily property. So also, if you're listening in, if you listen in, make sure you guys download this episode, special episode. Go to my YouTube. You'll be able to get the link and see that. So here we go. This, um, this is about multi, moment, momentum multifamily, which the founders are Dustin Miles and Hayden Harrington. Dustin is one of the founders of Momentum Multifamily. He focuses on strategic direction, direction, acquisitions, and asset management of the company. Hayden is also one of the founders of Momentum Multifamily. He focuses on acquisitions, efforts, and asset management of the company. Momentum Multifamily was born out of the simple idea, offer institutional quality investments for the everyday investor. With almost a decade of experience and a proven track record of consistent results, Momentum Multifamily has become a major player in acquiring, repositioning multifamily assets. They pride themselves on creating inspiring communities to live at while creating exceptional returns for their investors. There are three main cores of focus that Momentum Multifamily team apply daily. Number one, service as a team. We're in this together every step of the way. Our mission to create lasting relationships. Number two, communication. As a team, our goal is to provide investors with all the information they need to be up to date on their investment. And number three is quality. As a team, we focus on buying quality assets in quality locations with quality people. Momentum Family, our mission is helping you pursue yours. Welcome, gents. Thank you. Yeah, excited to be here. All right. I appreciate you having us. Thanks for coming on, Jens. As I said before, I want to educate. I love educating because I go by three things when I have a either a meetup or, or have my Facebook groups online. We focus on motivation, teaching, and perspective. So I want to ask you guys, what motivated you to get in multifamily? We'll start with you, Dustin. Yeah, I you know I've I've been pretty entrepreneurial my my whole life, and uh, so you know got into uh, you know started back in the day. I was eight years old, had a candy business, and okay. I, I sold sold candy. My bus driver called me the Candy Man. Okay, and, uh, I made profited. Uh, this is profit, not gross. I profited about fifty bucks a week. Sweet. Uh, eight, eight years old, so I sold a lot of Laffy Taffy, Jolly <laughs> Ranchers, and Blow Pops. Okay, okay. And uh, my my backpack was loaded with them. Right. And the, and the uh, school kind of shut me down. So you were so. the one in the school before the school started, so whenever you had to pack a can, everyone could cross around you, huh? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was <laughs> like that also. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know, I always – you know, always kind of trying different businesses and all that had, uh, in college, I had an e-commerce business and then, uh, and then out of college, I got into 
flipping houses and doing rentals and stuff like that. And, you know, right. made, made some money and all that, but right. I, I wanted to be able to scale. And so I met a few people that, that owned apartments. And then I started getting around more and more people that owned apartments. And this is, you know, this is around 2010, 11, 12. Okay. And, um, you know, so I started investing passively, uh, to initially, cause I wanted to see how it worked. And I just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm very much, you know, people can say whatever I, I need to see it for myself. I'm sure. a you know, kind of slow learner from that you perspective. Want experience. But, you want to experience yourself. Yeah, get so a hands I, I on. Wanted, yeah. I want to dip my toes in the water and all that. And so did, did that. And, um, you know, and then after that I was hooked, you know, you only need to get a few distributions passively and then you're like, okay, this is real. And, and I, I'm ready to roll. So that's, um, uh, you know, so really, um, this you know, I guess, could you explain it? Just that's checks, right? Is that pay? Yeah. That yeah. Pay those are, that the yeah, just know. Th those are, <laughs> yeah, it's cash on cash distributions that sent out either monthly or quarterly. Wow. And, uh, so kind of once, you know, that occurred, then I was like, okay, I, this is real. And, and, you know, two, I can do this. And then three, you know, just kind of get around other people that are doing the same thing. And, and I, uh, you know, just like we were talking about before you started recording, it's, it's all about relationships. Right. So I partnered up with some people and I had a coach. And so I, I, you know, I tried to minimize my risk as much as possible. Right. That's what I was doing. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. It's great to know. And Mr. Hayden, how did you get started? What's, what's, what motivated you to get the multi-family properties? Yeah, um, yeah, it goes back to um, when I started in real estate in general. Uh, I started in single family, like like most do. Um, I was, you know, renovating and uh, fixing up homes with my dad. Actually, growing up, and so he didn't trust contractors, so he dragged me <laughs> in to to help him with all the work. <laughs> and so, um, you know, it was a great, Fails great me. learning experience, and it sure. really planted the seed. Uh, um, and, and why I loved real estate, but it also kind of highlighted the, the risks and the amount of time and effort involved and, and the payoff wasn't that big. So I loved it because it was tangible. You know, you can see the change that you can make with your own two hands, which is incredible. But similar to Dustin, you know, I wanted to scale, I had bigger ambitions and, and single family just seemed like it had a lot of risk and took a long time. So um, that's kind of where the, the dream to go bigger and, and multifamily was just the, that natural next, next step from there. Um, because, um, you know, it's, it's very similar. What's behind the walls, what's under the floors and all that. I already knew a lot of that information. So, right. um, that was kind of the natural next, next step and just had to understand, you know, how that game is played. It's, it's a totally, totally different <laughs> ball game than, than, um, single family, but, you know, I knew I, I, I needed to be around the right people and that were actually doing the deals and I could just see and hear, you know, how, how it all works. And so, um, that's where really where the dream started. And then I just started networking around trying to, trying to surround myself with good people that would help me, uh, help me along the way and show me, you know, how I could bring value to the table too. Okay. Okay. So it leads to the question back to you, uh, Hayden, why you think, why you say it's a different type of ball game? Because it's just, you know, it's instead of one property you fix and sell, it's, it's maybe 10 units or 20 units or 30 units. What, why would you, why you give us the answer or your perspective? Yeah, because, um, you know, single family, you can, you can do it by yourself for one. Yeah. Um, it's, it's something that, you know, it definitely takes a lot of time. My dad's still flipping homes and he absolutely loves it. And it's not to say that you can't make good money doing it, but, um, you know, with multifamily, you know, I'm. I'd hesitate to say, you, you know, I know Dustin's done it on his own before, which is, you know, incredible to me because um, it really is a, a team sport and there's just so many moving parts that um, you really need a team around you. Right. And so from that aspect, it's, it's very different than single family. Um, okay. You know, especially if you syndicate, you're working with investors instead of maybe your own money. And so that's a lot of added responsibility too. Um, and then you're just dealing with bigger bigger sellers, bigger buyers, more sophisticated, uh, groups. Um, there's a lot of, uh, just a lot of things that really differ from, from single family. But more coordination. 
And would, correct, would, yeah. you, would you agree yeah, on pretty... it takes a little bit more coordination put put together and everyone trusts each other's roles and title and execute, right? To make a Yeah, ab- absolutely. If you try to do everything yourself <laughs> um, and you try to scale at the same time, you're not going to be able to do it. I mean, there's just too much going on, especially from the prop- property management aspect. Um, you know, if you try to do everything, it's you can't do everything right. I mean. Right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Dustin, um, now we'll go to the next question. Do you guys have any any tips or any suggestions what it, for someone who's starting out? You kind of answer that. What would you suggest? What's a what what is something you can teach or a technique or a method? Because sound like you have to raise. It's going to take teamwork. And it's going to take some funds to get those types of properties right. Ten, twenty, thirty properties what what can you guys either dustin or hayden what would you what's the method you teach or someone always asks you the F- faqs um yeah so I'll, <laughs> I'll hop in you know real quick i i think that there's you know i mean there's a handful of things there it's not it's not rocket science people have been talking about it for you know a long time um you know there's a lot of you know, Zig Ziglar and Jim Rome and all those guys kind of talked about a lot of the stuff and same, you know, same rules apply. But, uh, you know, I, I think first of all, you need to, you know, believe that you can do it. And so if, if you don't, you know, <laughs> if you don't believe you can do it, why should anybody else believe you, you can do it? Right. So, um, so that's kind of first. And then, you know, second thing I would say is, you know, um, you're the average of the five people you hang around. So if right. you're wanting to get in the game, whether, whether it's sports or whatever, I mean, right. you know, I, I played soccer, so I go hang out with soccer players or I want to run, I go hang out with runners. Right. Um, so kind of the same, same rules apply. You want to get into multifamily, go hang out with multifamily people. Right. And so, and then the other thing is too, you know, I mean, there is a lot, you know, as Hayden said, it's a team sport and, and uh you know so i I think it both of us played team sports growing up so we're like we're like oh this is you know he played baseball i played soccer so it's like oh this is just like what i did growing up right you know i couldn't do it all you got um i you know you got a bunch of people on the baseball diamond you got a bunch of people on the soccer field and you can't do it all um if you try to you're gonna get your you know get your your butt kicked so uh but um and then you know so you you know, if you're wanting to get into multifamily and all that, I would, you know, part, I would, uh, encourage people to try and partner up and, uh, you know, partner up with people that, you know, have, have a similar mindset, similar values, similar morals, uh, right. but complementary skill sets. And then, um, you know, that there's that, and then you could also hire a coach could be an option as well. I mean, that's, I did both when okay. I first started out and, you know, like right now I hired a, I, I want, I have some running goals. So I went and hired a running coach and okay. he, he can do what I want to do. And so, you know, I'm hanging out with him. I'm texting with him. He's checking in on me and he's telling me what I need to be doing. And I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. That's what I always say. Um, well, he's going to guide you to the road less travel. He's going to get you straight, get you to the straight and narrow. And I always have a saying, they probably heard it before, one eye is king of the blind. He can get you there. He, he, he's been there. He's your sight. He's going to get you there if you just listen and follow their, their moves, their, their steps. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So I, I just read, I love the research on there. Can you tell us a story? How many, how many properties are you, you guys currently co-own? as a group or how, how does it go as a sit? I, I bag back, bag back. Can you own a, a, a multifamily property? Do you go in by yourself or do you go in as a group? How, how is it normally set or does it go both? Cause once again, these are new listeners. We're new to this. I'm new to this also, which that's my goal to get to multifamily. If you want uh, pop in. Sure. Maybe? Yeah, I'll take that one. Um, yeah, you can, I mean, if you've got uh, a big balance sheet and a lot of liquidity, sure, you can take these down by yourself, but most people don't have, you know, those two things required uh, to be able to do it. So you can syndicate. So, which essentially means, you, you know, you buy as a group. 
Sure. Uh, so you typically have, uh, you set up a single purpose entity with uh, general partners and limited partners. Right. So you have your general partner team who goes out and, um, you know, gets a deal under contract, it's putting the earnest money down, is paying uh, the legal fees and stuff like that to put these syndications together um, and then raises the money from investors. And so that's how we purchase um, properties. Uh, we just bought one and we closed in late January. It was uh, 228 units built in wow. 2012, purchased it for just shy of uh, 30 million and raised a little wow. over 10 million in, 10 million in equity. So, wow. um, that, congratulations, that was man. Congratulations. Wow. That's yeah, great. I appreciate it. Those um, big numbers yeah. to me. I don't know about the multifamily world, if that's small or whatever, but that's big numbers to me. <laughs> that's strong. Yeah, those are, those are big numbers <laughs> for anyone, I think. Um, <laughs> okay. But, um, but yeah, I'll let Dustin tell you a little bit about his track record. Dude, that was my first first syndication, but uh, Dustin's on 11 total, so. Wow, okay. Awesome, uh, awesome. Yeah, so started in, you know, started investing passively, and you don't necessarily have to do that, but I, I wanted to kind of see how it worked, and, um, and so that's how I got kind of going, and then, yeah, I did uh, first syndication in 2014, and it was uh, over in Haltom City. It's a suburb of the right. DFW, you know, real close to Fourth. And uh, so it was 109 doors. Bought it for uh, it was 4.1 million or so, and then raised about 1.7 million. And wow. uh, so and sold it in 2019. Held it for about about five years or so. And um, yeah, so I've done done 11 total. I've done two deals in Oklahoma and then kind of around North Texas ish area. And then sure. we just closed the deal in Houston. Wow. Well, is that the one that you, you guys did in January? The one in Houston? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long did that take to from start to finish where you closed? Did it take months like it? Did it took like three, four, five months? Yeah, it, it takes a long time. I mean, just the bidding process alone where you okay. do your underwriting and then when you get in best and final and then we did a, multiple rounds of best and final buyer seller interview calls. I think just that whole process was probably two months there. Um, and then, you know, we had a 60 day close plus one okay. three week extension cause they had a loan come and do. And so, um, you know, it took all in, you know, probably 120 days from the time we started underwrite the deal. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the most challenging things is, uh, about multifamily is these processes and the amount of work involved just to get a single deal uh, can take months. Okay. So it's not, it's a different process compared to if you buy a house today, you can close in seven to 10 days based on the time. Of work. So it's, it's a lot different than that, that concept. Okay. I it's, got it's, that. it's a lot of money involved. And so sure. we got to make sure we do our homework and understand the entire business plan because we're buying a business. It's right. not just like buy, buying a house. Exactly. We're buying a business. Exactly. Um, and so we got to know exactly what we're getting into. Gotcha. Got you. Do y'all have teams? For example, I always hear it's good to work with brokers, commercial brokers, or do the deals just come to you guys once you get established and known around the, the multifamily world? Or? Yeah, uh, brokers, yeah, basically control the market. And then as far <clears throat> as the team and all that, I mean, we have, you know, we have insurance okay. folks, we have a legal team, both on the transaction and the SEC portion. Uh, we have uh, you know, our property management, obviously, you know, a, a key player. So we have, we, I mean, we have a lot of property tax consultants. I mean, we're, you know, our mortgage broker. I mean, we, we've got a lot of people that we have to lean on in order to, to get the deal across the finish line. It, it's a lot of work. Okay. Okay. That's where we'll come to a close. I want to get a perspective. You can say the good and the bad. What yeah. is the, Sharp Ranger, what is the good and bad of multifamily? What do you think? The bad part. What, give me the bad part first. Give it to me. I want my medicine now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's all subjective. Um, you know, I think you can learn a good, great lessons from even the hardships that are involved. Um, I, I mean, it, it definitely taught me how to be patient because okay. it took me two years of nonstop wow. effort to get that first deal. Okay. So, you know, that's, that's one of the, in my opinion, is one of the hardest parts. But I think if you take the time to lay that foundation and surround yourself with good people, um, that's where really the good comes in too. 
is you get to do, you know, it's, it's just incredible. You get to enhance the lives of all these tenants and these properties with, you know, right. great people that you love working with. Um, and it's just a really rewarding and fulfilling business. So, um, yeah, I, I love it. So basically you got to learn how to endure. You got to have endurance in this. Mm -hmm. This is a long run. This is, you got to endure, correct? Yeah, 100%. Well, and it's not like flipping a house yeah. uh, or even having a rental that you could, you could sell pretty easily in a year or two. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're holding these for, you know, typically three to five years, you know, if not 10. So, I mean, not only is it, you know, a lot, and then, you know, and then we have partners and we have investors. I mean, this is, you know, these are long-term relationships. Right. This is not a transaction. Right. Right. Um, and I'd say, you know, along with the patients thing, the other, you know, kind of negative or whatever um, about, you know, multifamily is it, it's kind of, you know, it's an unfair business. If you're not, if you haven't done multifamily before, um, you basically, you really got to partner up with people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're Joe Schmo off the street, you've dev never done any multifamily, um, you know, brokers really aren't going to listen to you because, right. I mean, you know, the, the hurdle's high. Right. I mean, you know, you're like, oh, you know, I've done, I'm just, I'm not gonna, you know, like when I was first into it, I was like, oh yeah, I've, I've done half a dozen houses. Like no one, no one's going to believe I can pull off buying this $4 million deal right. unless I'm partnered with people and I invest passively and I had a coach like, you know, that combination, that, that was a good story. But you built if a foundation, just, you got to build your foundation. That's right. Right. Yeah. 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 100%. yeah. yeah. You got to show yourself and, and be around like-minded and build it. But endurance, it's not like you got to endure it. Because once again, it's a teamwork and it's, and it's, mm -hmm. it's about building a relationship. Am I right? With, oh, with, with 100%, you guys? Yeah, with for sure. Yeah. That's solid. Well, hey, gents, I definitely appreciate you guys' time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching here on YouTube, I'm going to have that link. Which that, what po what po was that? Is that also a podcast with the, the ladies? Because women are part of a multifamily also. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a great, great video he has on YouTube. And is it, do y'all have a podcast, gents? It's, it's, not on, uh, it's not a podcast yet, but it's yeah, not, it's, okay. on our, it's on YouTube and it's on our, our website as well. What's your YouTube channel for the listeners just, here on podcast? Yeah, it's just Momentum Multifamily. And that's all our website is to MomentumMultifamily.com. And we've got a resources tab where we post uh, video webinars and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Do you guys want to, do you got any special, anything you want to pronounce or to, to the listeners or any, any properties available or for sale anything before we end this? Okay. Uh, no, we're just, you know, I, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're always happy to help. Uh, you know, neither of us got, here you know by ourselves and so we're always happy to help if if there's uh you know someone that you know feel free to reach out to us or our emails are just our first name at momentummultifamily.com so they can just yeah reach out to us and uh if they just want to say hi that's cool or if they have some questions or want to hop on a call happy to help awesome yeah. ladies and gents if you're watching on youtube he's gonna i'm gonna have hayden and dustin they're gonna be i'm gonna have a link on the Passive REI Network. I'm gonna have it on that site. I'm gonna have it on the meetup group. We have a local a meetup group, which is online and offline. So as they say, feel free to reach out to them, okay? So thanks for coming on the show, uh, Mr. Dustin Miles and Mr. Hayden Harrington. Thanks for coming on the show, gents. So here we go. As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. As I said before, don't condemn, don't complain because you have a choice to make a change. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us on the Nicholas Brown Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, www.nickbrowninc.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, or via RSS, so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out too. 
If you like this show and you are a new real estate investor, then check out one of Nicholas's free reports called the Wholesale Dominator Report. Also located on our website, www.nickbrownie.com slash free reports. Be sure to tune in for our next episode. And remember, don't condemn, don't complain, because you have a choice to make a change. Have a great day.